Sound cues are not the only type of asset you can use in your level. You don't have to take every sound effect that you want to use and turn it into a sound cue in order to place it. There is, if we right click and go to add actor, a selection of three other actors that we can use. We have the ambient sound simple, ambient sound simple toggleable, and ambient sound non loop. And all three of these actors are meant to be used with raw sound wave data. You don't have to worry about creating a sound cue if you don't want to. So let's take a look at dropping an ambient sound simple into our level. We're not going to worry about the toggleable version, though really all that does is it allows you to enable it or disable it. So for instance, you could have a kismet sequence in which the player throws a switch, and as they do, a sound becomes active. So just one example. Now what I'm going to do is jump over to the content browser and let's search for sound wave data. So let me click on sound wave data and I'm going to search for engines and make sure I'm searching through all assets. And I think if I also search for broken, no, it's not. Let me search for broken first. That's what I want. There we go. There's machine broken. I was thinking it was engine, but there's several different really odd engine sounds here. And here's another one. And they kind of oscillate a little bit. So let's take this sound effect here. And let's put that back here on our uh, two great big generators that we have. So with this sound selected here inside the content browser, We'll go ahead and close the content browser. I'll right click here on the floor and choose add actor and we'll just grab an ambient sound simple and notice that it knows that machine broken 13 is going to come along for the ride. Now here's where this differs from the regular ambient sound. Where the ambient sound uses a sound cue, what that means is that our all of our control for the sound, how it's going to play back, its volume, its radius, that's all going to be controlled through the sound cue. However, in an ambient sound simple, all of the controls are right here on the actor. So we can press F4. We have ambient sound simple, expand its properties, and we can choose whether or not it's attenuated, spatialized, the distance model, everything that we had inside the sound cue. We can apply a low pass filter, which can make it sound a little bit muffled. We can modulate the pitch, and we can also add multiple sounds to this. So it's really up to you which one of the two you'd like to use. Now up near the top we have ambient sound which just has autoplay. If you want this sound to be active as soon as you start the level, make sure that this is on. And what we're going to do is just kind of position this right here along with our generator, kind of out toward the front of it. So the player could kind of walk right up to it. Now you could put it inside the generator, but that would just make it hard to see. So we'll just leave it out here. And if we go into real time, You can hear this, it kind of sounds like a train. We could put a second copy of it in. And now they both seem to be working. And you can use these to quickly populate your level with sound. It's very easy to do. Just choose the sound effect that you want and then drop them in and you're good to go. So that is a quick look at adding ambient sound simple actors. Between the two, you really kind of have to make the judgment call. Would you rather have the flexibility of a sound cue, which does allow you to do things like randomly choose between uh, sound clips, which is something that we've made use of, or do you just have a simple sound effect you need to drop in quickly, in which case you can reach for the ambient sound simple. So that will wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.